it's always been bad. We started this show because it was bad, and it's steadily gotten worse nearly every year since. For a decade, I've had to come on and craft these progressively more terrified, look how bad it's gotten messages. And, and we're to the point now where I'm like, I'm worried I'm going to reach my rhetorical limit. The bad news is going to outpace my ability to articulate how bad it is. How can I distinguish this new low from all the absolutely abyssal depths that we've reached before? It's obviously a question I've been wrestling with a lot this week. So here's what I came up with. As bad as it's gotten through the entire Trump administration, through Trinity Lutheran, through Espinoza, through all the incremental steps towards dismantling Roe, through all the foreshadowing about the court's ravenous desire to abolish the lemon test, through all the MAGA rallies, through the increasingly fascistic oratory, through the attempted coup by Christian terrorists on January 6th, I have never been afraid that it might be illegal for us to do this show in the near future. But given the extremism that we're seeing from the Supreme Pontificate of U.S. courts, that is no longer the case. I had that fear this week. I mean, we're obviously going to talk about the overturning of Roe and the return of teacher-led prayer to school more on the show. I, we're going to talk about it for pretty much this whole episode, and I'm sure many more to come. But let's take a second to acknowledge that the legal theories that they just upended to make room for their extreme views on abortion and Christian privilege are the exact same ones that protect us from blasphemy laws. Not, not that it really matters. I, I think it's pretty clear that they've all but abandoned the pretext of coherent judicial philosophy. The law of the land now is whatever the Christo-fascists want using whatever fabricated bullshit of a justification we feel like. Now, now let me clarify my concerns here, right? Because it's not like I need my right to tell Jesus to eat a dick more than a pregnant person needs the right to bodily autonomy. I'm not ranking the rights here, but regardless of how it affects your employment, your proximity to blasphemy laws is a pretty damn handy metric of how deep into theocracy we've plunged. And make no mistake, that's what we're measuring now. It's not enough to talk about how close we are to theocracy. Christians have a profoundly different set of rights than non-Christians at this point. Laws are interpreted through the lens of Christian belief more so than legal precedent. The government coffers directly fund religious indoctrination. We are already a theocracy. Now it's just a question of how far down that hole are we and how long it'll take to dig our way back out. And that actually makes for a really useful analogy, the idea that this is like a pit that we've fallen into, or sorry, a pit into which we are still falling. The, the rate of descent may have slowed a bit when we got Trump out of office, but at best we've traded free fall for a dangerously steep grade. We're still stumbling down at breakneck speed, no matter how quickly we manage to arrest our fall from here. And it's too late to save everyone. You know, people are literally going to die because of it, regardless of how hyperbolic Brett Kavanaugh tried to make that warning sound in his confirmation tantrum. Anyway, eventually we're going to reach the bottom of this thing, and then we have to figure out the way out. Now, obviously, the people who put us here, they're not going to be any help at all, but a lot of our allies probably won't be much help either. You know, on the one side, you'll have the naive optimists that think we're on a bungee cord and the institutional momentum is going to spring us back into balance any second now. And on the other side, you're going to have the jaded pessimists who tried flapping their arms a half dozen times on the way down, and they've already given up. And honestly, when we finally roll to a stop at whatever unfathomable depth we wind up in and look back up those sheer walls, I feel like a lot more people are going to volunteer for that latter group. Still more will propose variations of the arm flapping technique. Others are going to try to scale the wall directly. And yes, a few of them might make it if they have extraordinary resources, but the rest of them will just tumble back to the valley floor with us. The sad fact, though, is that if we ever want to lift everybody back out of this hole, it's going to take a long time and we're going to have to move a lot of earth. We're going to have to dig a ramp along the sides of these walls with a gradual enough grade that we don't have to leave anyone behind or we will have failed. And that's a daunting fucking task, right? It can't be done quickly and any promises that it can just serve to undermine the realistic effort. Look, we didn't get here all at once. You know, I know it seems like we did. It's, it's easy to look back over recent history and think this is all stems from the 2016 election. And while that no doubt accelerated and exacerbated the problem, it's not like we had trouble finding headlines to talk about before the Trump administration. Right. This effort has been underway for decades. We got where we are through sustained, coordinated political action by the opposition that's been moving in the same basic direction since before I was fucking born. 
The only way out is through the same sustained effort in the opposite direction. And I'll be the first to admit that's harder for us than it is for them. They come from a conformist culture and we're mostly drawn from the ranks of the people who rejected that conformist culture. We're, we're worse at cohesive, sustained effort that forces us to remain committed even when we're not making progress. That very effort has aptly been likened to herding cats, but at a certain point, that actually becomes our strength. It turns out it's pretty easy to herd cats towards the fucking food bowl or the can of treats. What's hard is to get a bunch of cats to go in a direction they don't want to go, which coincidentally is exactly what the theocrats are trying to do right now. <laughs>